Alright guys, Tyler from Race Me Tuners here today and we're going to show you how to uh, properly install a update on your Ultra or MM3 tuner. Um, we are using Windows 10 today. Uh, I will do a video on Windows 7, um, Windows 8 maybe as well. Uh, there's just slight variations but for the most part it's kind of the same, uh, same process. So uh, we'll start by going to www.racemecanada.com. This is our website. This is the only website that we support um, and and we keep updated so um, we're gonna go to the updates tab under the category section uh, this is where you'll find all our updates um, you will need to download 7-zip um, this is used to uncompress the files that you download we uh, we have them in .7z format and we use 7-zip because 7-zip is free so um, it's just a one-time download you just have to go to the web uh, click on the link it'll take you to the website they offer two options um, most of the newer computers are gonna be 64-bit but uh, if you're not sure just go down to the start menu uh, click on file explorer um, under this left side here you'll see computer and you can just right click on computer and hit properties um, this will tell you basic information about your computer and we can see under system type that ours is a 64-bit so just knowing that we can go back um, close File Explorer. We can click on the 64-bit version. Uh, just follow the prompts there. I already have it downloaded, so uh, just follow the prompts. It'll ask you, like on the bottom here, if you want to open or save. Just click Open. Um, it'll it'll be a couple steps. If it does ask you to restart your computer, you don't have to. Um, I've I've uh, I've tried it both ways, and you don't have to do that. So we'll just click back there. We'll go back after we have 7-Zip installed, and we'll find our tuner that we're working on, either the MM3 or the Ultra and we'll click on the update and once you click on the update you will get an option to open or save um, you can click on either one if um, when it's done it's going to show you this bar on the bottom um, and we'll be able to open it from there you'll be able to view your downloads folder from there and if this happens to go away you can always click on start file explorer and you can click on downloads and all your downloads that you've ever downloaded will probably show up in here so it'll probably be very populated but you just find the one you just downloaded click on that and you should be good so we'll show you from here um, our download has been completed we'll click on open um, this is opening up in Windows but it is using 7-zip to open so these are the five files we're gonna put back on the card okay so for now we're just gonna leave that alone we're gonna uh, go to start I'm going to go to File Explorer, and uh, when you plug your card in, it should show up on this left side here at race me underscore you, right? So what we're going to do is, um, th th here's the same five files that we just downloaded. If you see this program, pro uh, this is a program protocol file. Um, the tuner creates this whenever you download. It's just a record of your downloads, uh, just in case we uh, we uh, need some information for diagnostic purposes. It also creates a temp file, so you can erase these. That's what we're going to do here. Um, you can use either one of these. This is just showing it twice. This is just showing a, uh, a uh, exploded version of what's on your card. So you can right click on your card. We're going to hit format. We're going to uh, make sure it's race me underscore you and make sure it's fat32 and we're just going to click start. This will ask you, uh, you might not be able to see this, but this will ask you if you want to format the disk, you just click OK. And uh, it'll say format complete, then we know we're done and we just click close. Now our card is empty, so if we go back and we click on the card, there is nothing on the card and that's kind of what, what we want to see. So uh, when we're done that, we can close that window. This is uh, this is our download that we have uh, that we have opened previously. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, we're going to highlight this by left clicking on it once. Then we're going to hold down Control on our keyboard and then just touch A. That's going to highlight all of our folders or all of our yeah file folders. Then we're just going to click Extract All. That'll open up the uh, destination window of where we want these files to go. Well, we don't want them to go where we already have them, um, so we're just going to click Browse. And uh, the same thing here. You look down your left side. If you scroll down, you'll find me. You'll find your Race Me drive. You can choose either one of these. It's the same thing. Click on your drive. Click Select Folder, and then click Extract. What this is going to do is this is going to move the files from this window back onto the card that we have just formatted and cleaned up. So we'll just wait for that to happen. It uh, usually takes uh, anywhere from uh, a half a minute to 
three minutes depending on the speed of your computer and the speed of your drives. While, while you're doing this, don't, uh, don't take the card out, obviously, or the card reader. Um, if you do, uh, you're just going to have half the files there, and we're going to have to redo this all over again. If you are a shop or you do a lot of tuners and, you, and, and you're doing this lots, I would recommend making a file folder on your desktop, naming it RaceMe116 Update, and then when you get to, the, uh, to this window, you can extract, you can browse and extract your files to the 116 folder. And then every time you go to update one of these tuners, you don't have to go to the website and download it every time. You'll already have the files on your desktop and all you'll need to do is just copy and paste them. So we'll just wait a little bit longer for this to finish. One of the other things that's very important to do with our, uh, with our um, current card readers is when you pull the card out sometimes that card can turn a little bit sideways and if that drive that that the card that the card reader is still plugged into is still active it tends to corrupt the files on the card so what we recommend doing is when you are done come down to your taskbar here click on your up arrow find your find your uh, safely remove hardware and eject media button click on that and then safely eject your drive. That'll shut the drive off for you and then you won't have a problem with corrupted files. Um, when, you, when you are done with this and you have your drive safely ejected and you pull your card out, when you go back to your tuner, you put your card back in your tuner um, with the key off. We always recommend doing everything with the key off. Always recommend plugging the tuner in to the OBD2 with the key off. Um, it's just a safer, safer way to do things. Stick your card back in there, power the tuner up with your key um, it'll do one of two things. It'll either update by itself on its own, um, and you just fo you basically you just watch the updates. It'll it, it'll do four updates. It'll take about 45 seconds. If it doesn't auto update, go into your main menu. Um, from the main menu, click on Configuration Tools. Um, on the second page of that menu, you'll find the Firmware Update tab. And then when you click on the Firmware Update tab, you will see that the update on the card should be newer than the update that's in the tuner. And uh, you'll just click on the Update uh, tab, and uh, it'll do the same updates that it would have done if it auto-updated itself. And then you're done. That's all you got to do. Um, so we'll just uh, we'll wait for this to finish here, 97%. So now that this is done, all of our all of our um, files that we just extracted are on our drive. See if you click on this drive, it's the same thing. This is just a different, it's just a way of showing it. So now that we have this, you can click on uh, close, close all your windows, and safely eject your media, eject race me. Now your card's good to pull out. So that's it guys, um, that's how you update your um, Ultra or MM3 tuner, both are the same. Um, we'll have more, uh, more videos to follow. Thanks.